Evangelist Smith Wigglesworth has, uh, was a pioneer in the Pentecostal revival movement that shook the United Kingdom in the early 20th century. From his mission base in Bradford, England, Wigglesworth saw tens of thousands come into God's kingdom. Now that building is being restored in hope that a similar revival will once again sweep the United Kingdom. UK correspondent Peter Wooding has the story. Scottish international Bible teacher Terry Quinn is on a mission to raise back to life the famous Boland Street Mission in the north of England, where well-known healing evangelist Smith Wigglesworth preached for 30 years. After several years of trying to purchase this historic church, Quinn was finally able to fulfill the first step of his dream to convert this abandoned building into a revival centre. Well, living in Bradford, I made many inquiries for people who lived in Bradford about the famous Smith Wigglesworth building, Bowling Street Mission, and wondered why nobody had ever taken over. So to cut a long story short, I made some inquiries and found it was owned by a Muslim who knew all about Smith Wigglesworth and was holding the building for somebody who would plan it, who would use it for the memory of Smith Wigglesworth. So I was so excited that it was the first part of my dream to turn this centre into a school of the spirit, international Bible school and a, a museum to welcome people from all over the world to bring back the power of Pentecost to the city and to the world. Throughout the early 1900s, Wigglesworth had a remarkable healing ministry across five continents, during which he's reported to have raised 14 people from the dead. Quinn believes by relaunching the Boland Street Mission into a museum, Bible school and healing centre, this could again be a historic place to reignite revival to England. I believe that God has a plan for the centre. We are in the heart of Islamic territory and I believe God has a plan to reach the Muslims and many, many people from all over the world through the power of just believing God's word, miracles, healing, signs and wonders and really bringing an emphasis back on the baptism of the Holy Spirit and believing for miracles and signs and wonders as Smith did in his day. As Quinn took us around the building, it's clearly evident he's undertaken a huge faith venture to fulfill this vision. You'll see this is the entrance, we've got the door taken away at the moment. These steps here, these are the steps where Smith's wife Polly dropped dead. And that day Smith prayed with her, she was raised from the dead, they had a small chat together and then she went on to be with the Lord. Let's go inside and see the baptismal tank. Well, this is the building. We've taken the floors off the baptismal tank. It wasn't a tank per se, but he had a brick foundation here where they actually put the baptismal tank on top of it. This is the, the platform where Smith preached from. And there was a sign on this wall, wall saying, I am the Lord that healeth thee. And thousands and thousands of people's lives were touched and this famous building. So as Quinn continues to believe that God will bring this project to its fruition, only time will tell if that same resurrection power of Smith Wigglesworth's ministry will return to Boland Street Mission. Peter Wooding for CBN News, Bradford, England.